Hey guys, Evan here. Hope you all have a wonderful day today. So guys, I'm here today to bring you my WoW story, which was nominated by Census and Morpheus. Now, this video has been coming along well. I'm not sure why I have waited this long to make it, but I just want to thank you guys for nominating me. But uh, that's enough rambling. Let's get straight into it. So my WoW story starts off in another game called Neverwinter Nights. Now, the game I originally played before that was a game called TZK which actually is why I started playing Neverwood Nights because a few people I actually know from that game started playing Neverwood Nights so I decided to play with them. It was a roleplay based game and I did some roleplay but not fucking Moonguard shit what you guys are thinking before you actually say it. It was just the normal pretending to be a character, kind of like the Cell Park episode if you ever seen it. Uh, something like that. <laughs> but anyways, as time went on, I moved on from that game and I moved to World of Warcraft with my girlfriend at the time, which I actually played Neverwinter Nights with. And um, we, uh, she wanted to go Alliance. Now the thing is, I was originally Horde when I started, my level 25 Orc Warrior, but she got the game not too long after and I decided to roll Alliance for her. I rolled a Mage at the time because I wanted to be a Gnome. I didn't want to be a Human for some reason because everyone plays your stubborn to build Human. But I just decided to roll Gnome. Later on I regret the decision and I ended up making my Alliance Warrior, a human warrior of course, named Evelyn. But then I kind of rolled a Paladin before I rolled a Warrior, which actually was a tank. I hadn't started my PvP experience just yet. I did do some PvP but not a lot. Then as I, as I tanked on my Paladin I realised I couldn't tank in raids because I wasn't allowed to. So then I rolled the Warrior. But anyways. I tank raids back then, had a lot of fun, it was definitely a good experience, but then at the end of Vanilla we decided to move server, because the server was full of elitists. So we moved to a different server and then made our own guild, raided a lot of Karazhan, Karazhan was a lot of fun, one of my most favourite raids, definitely always remember the chess event and the opera event, great times. Clear Karazhan many times, then disbanded the guild. As time went on, I started to get a bit into PvP and TBC, I was having a lot of fun. But I wasn't really that great, I played mostly on my rep paladin, but I was still mining a second war at Moria as my second main. I kind of got to play a little bit with a sharp priest and then then came Wrath and Lich King. I actually started to play more and more on PvP. I played with this rogue. It was actually a lot of fun. Rep Rogue was pretty good in uh, Wrath and Lich King. But uh, I was only casual arena player back then. And I kind of like I don't know I just felt like I decided I wanted to do more raiding at the time and I wasn't really a PvP -er, so to say back then but I was slowly branching out into PvP but I was having too much fun with my PvE friends so I ended up uh, making my own guild again and this time in Wrath and Lich King I actually cleared all of the raids and I managed to clear Heroic Lich King which was a big achievement for the guild but we had too many uh, drama queens in the guild and then uh, Basically, the guild disbanded not too long after because people were so pissed that they didn't get in the run to kill Lich King. I went from being a PvE tank to arms in Cataclysm because I kind of wanted to give up on the whole tanking thing. It was, wasn't really my thing anymore. But I still did the off tanking sometimes in raids and stuff like that. But halfway through Cataclysm, I just kind of decided I'm not going to do it anymore. And I just I just one day my raid leader shouted at me really loud and I just thought fuck it, told him to go fuck himself and <laughs> left the guild. Um, so yeah, so in Cataclysm I kind of was manning Rogue and Warrior at the time and uh, I decided to myself I was going to go full time PvP. So I kind of looked mostly Rogue PvP at the time because I was playing Rogue as my main and Warrior as my ult. And I looked up people like Sativ who had a lot of guides. Census who also had a lot of guides. I remember watching a good few census montages back then. It was definitely um, a good time to be a rogue. Rogues had the legendary daggers and they one shot people. <laughs> it was pretty crazy, the wings popping out. But even with through the allure of that, my warrior still was shining. And I don't know why. Then I watched another video of Swifties because he was playing a rogue at the time. And uh, I noticed he was playing warrior. And I watched a few of his warrior videos and the more and more I watched it the more I wanted to start playing a warrior so I did I decided to start playing a warrior and um, I made the warrior and I was like having a lot of fun playing on my warrior 
I used, I even, after playing Rogue Dragon Soul, I just figured that since I was playing ARMS anyways, I was going to start ARMS. So we did. So uh, yeah, after that, then I kind of um, decided the duel. I did a lot of duels, so I looked at more Swifty's videos. Swifty had a lot of good warrior content, and I actually learned how to defeat mages from Swifty. Swifty taught me a lot about the game as regards to dueling, for sure. And even till today, I still use his tactic to defeat mages. Because of that, I had a lot of respect for Swifty, and Swifty's definitely one of the people I look to as one of my idols in this game. And as I was watching Swifty's videos more and more, I actually found a video called Swifty and Friends. And uh, it happened to have Bajira in it. It was BG with a whole lot of people in Dharma Tire, but Bajira was in this video. And uh, I liked Bajira's attitude, so I went and checked out his channel, because he was another warrior. And uh, as I looked at his content, I decided that he had a lot of good stuff, and and I, I just subscribed to him. And the more and more I watched Bajira videos, the more he inspired me to just keep going for the whole YouTube thing. Because he made a lot of vlogs. So I watched his vlogs and one of them really struck a nerve with me. I was watching it and he was just like, never be afraid to always follow your dreams and always give it your best because not don't be afraid to fail like and all this stuff, you know? And I was like, holy shit, this guy's like inspiring me right now, you know? <laughs> so I decided to um, give it a shot. I decided to roll a YouTube channel. And my, lo and behold, my first videos was dueling videos. Uh, because I was previously sitting outside Stormwind six months before all this, doing all the jewels, as I said, watching Swifty's videos. But I also learned from another warrior called Glone, which was someone who was one of my friends at the time, and he actually taught me a lot about warriors. I consistently jeweled him, and I used to jewel everybody in the forest. And then one day, when I finally beat the best rogue in the server, which was called Nominus, I decided to myself. After I started my YouTube, my first videos were going to be dueling videos, so on my birthday, I made dueling videos. <laughs> and um, it was actually quite good, people actually quite enjoyed them. Some people disliked a lot of them, but I, get, I was a back peddler, I was a keyboard turner, I was a clicker, I mean, what do you expect? Four months later, I was at 150 subscribers, I was doing pretty good, I had a few montages and stuff, but I realized as I was going on, I was, I was kind of copying the YouTuber. And then people picked up on it and they kind of uh, slandered me in the comments in one of my commentary videos because I was pretty much unsure of myself. I was a very shy person. I made a few guides as well which I was really not talking to them much in. But um, basically they, they did hurt my feelings and I kind of let the trolls get to me and ended up quitting YouTube for about three weeks. But then as I was feeling bad three weeks later, the jury made another video and I was like, Holy shit, he's actually showing me that I shouldn't be afraid about all this shit, you know? And actually should be more willing to go for everything I want. And once again, I decided to try. But this time, I decided to try to be myself. And I did. And things started to look up more. I was on 200 subscribers. And I was actually getting rating over 1700 at this time. And it was a lot of fun, actually. I had quite a lot of fun. Um, I was starting 3v3 for the first time, it's definitely an experience, and uh, come the end of the first season of MOP, I was 1.9 rated, which was really good for me. Then as things went on on YouTube, I got up to 4k subscribers, and I started doing collabs with some good buddies of mine, people like Census, Morpheus, Tharaz, Nirog, Zwen, Indy, Pilav, Disney Mage, Cobrak, Banana Raccoon, Eldu, Battlemaster PP. Deadly Tears, Paralyzer, and DD. Yes, I brought all of them down. <laughs> but yes, um, I had many collabs with many people. I started to get more and more known on YouTube. And come the end of the second season of World of Warcraft, I was almost 2k rated. Then on the third season, which I think was 5.3, I actually managed to hit over 2k. And it was like, holy shit, I was so fucking excited, man. It was unreal. And come the end of MOP, I actually finally got almost 2.2 rated. I was 2183. So I even at 2400 and more. Now, people would say that I'm not 2.2 just because I was like one game off a win of 2.2. But at the end of the day, I feel like I got there, you know? And the trouble is, though, I kind of, at the end of MOP, decided to focus more on my YouTube, which I did. I decided to do more videos, I decided to start working hard on Evelyn 1, 
I got bigger and bigger on YouTube and I actually started releasing guides, uh, tutorials, um, detailed guides, like not just my normal normal guides, but actual guides that people could actually do, look up to. I started doing my own June series. I started to do more vlogs because something in my life had happened at that point. But yeah, as it got bigger and bigger on YouTube, we're almost 12k subscribers and it's been a crazy journey up to this point. And then by the end of mock, like I said, I was almost 2.2. Um, and I haven't really pushed the arena since. I haven't had a proper team, so to say, since that time. And I kind of want to get back into it. And my journey is kind of going from one end to the other. Like, but all in all, I've had a great experience playing World of Warcraft. I've been playing the game 11 years now. And I've had met a lot of friends on US and EU. I joined Darren McTire, I forgot to mention that, and I uh, had a uh, friend, that's probably, that's where I first met, actually met Census, um, from Darren McTire, my good buddy Ace as well, Stray Ace, forgot to mention him in the things. I actually had a lot of fun making a lot of collabs with all them guys. And uh, yeah, I mean, I still love my Rogue, I do make Rogue videos, and it's, it was, if it wasn't my Rogue, I probably would never have even known who Census was, you know? I probably would have eventually though <laughs> but yeah my, my experience of world of cross being crazy i mean it's crazy to think that it's actually been 11 years but almost 12k subscribers 11 years playing this game met so many people had so many friendships had so many collabs you know it's just been a heartwarming experience and i can't thank everyone who's ever supported me enough for Everything we've got up to this point. But uh, a lot of you people have asked me where, where I got the name Evelyn from and why I use a girl's name and not a guy's name as my character. And the truth be told is I actually was at a bad point in my life when I was younger. And people, there was two people I actually looked up to. One was called Eve and the other one was called Jessalyn. Because they meant so much to me, I decided to just name myself after them. But instead of actually using one or the other's name, I decided to combine them both together, which became Evelyn. The Lynn from Jesslyn, and Eve, obviously. And um, Evelyn is actually a real name, so I decided to change the E to a Y, which then became Evelyn. And uh, yeah, that's how the name was born. But it's, like, like I say, it's been a crazy experience up to this point, and I wouldn't have had it any other way. But, uh... Yeah, I want to thank you guys if you got to the end of this video. It's been, like, it's been like almost 15 minutes. But um, I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to say thank you for everything. And hopefully you guys will share your web stories in the comments with me below. I want to thank Senses and Morpheus for nominating me. And I want to thank you to all my friends who have made over the years. And all my subscribers who have supported me up to this point. Hope you guys all have a great day and as always this is Evan out. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in next one.